Hello, my next story. It's by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler, and it's called Charlie Cook's Favourite Book. And there it is. There's a picture of Charlie Cook with a load of books. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cosy chair and read his favourite book. And there he is, sitting in the chair reading his favourite book. About a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest and in it was a book. And there he is and he's found the book. About a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried who's had our porridge and who's been sitting in our chairs. They went into the bedroom and Baby Bear said, Look, she's in my bed and what is more, she's got my favourite book. And there she is, reading his book. About Sir Percy Pilkington, a bold and fearless knight, who told the dragon, Wait, I'm not quite ready for a fight. You must hear this one first. And then his armour clanked and shook. As he read aloud a joke he found inside his favourite book. You see the dragon's laughing his head off because he thought the joke was funny. About Rowena Redalot, a very well-read frog, who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a log, then jumped into the library which stood beside the brook and went, read it, read it, read it, as she jumped upon a book. About, oh, I never showed you the picture of her in the library, did I? There she is, and there's the frog sitting on the book. And About an oak tree full of birds, each bird had built a nest, and they had competition to decide which one was best. They chose an owl to judge it, and the winner was a rook, whose nest was lined with pages from his very favourite book. And there it is. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky, some small green men were in it, and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, Look, Mum, what I've just seen. But Mum said, Hush, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. And there's the, whoops, there's the, the one with the little, with the men in the flying saucer, little green men. And there is her trying to get her mother's attention. About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown but then got stuck behind some sheep, which slowed his car right down. The king dialed 999, and soon the cops had caught the crook, and flung him into prison, where he read his favourite book. There he is. And there's the police nabbed him. <laughs> About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish and went on land to try to find some other kind of dish. He went into a bookshop and he there grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a large encyclopedia. There he is, very hungry, reading the book. About the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen. A team of royal cake makers had made it for the Queen. The cake was so delicious 
that a famous spaceman took, a slice of it to Jupiter, he also took a book. There it is. And there's the spaceman. About a ghost who glided round a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. She kept it up until morning, then she found a shady nook and put her head back on again to read her favourite book. There she is, got her head under, under her arm. And there he got, put her head back on and reading her book. About a cosy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook. And there he is. And he's back to the armchair that uh, one. And there's all the different people that we've read about. And that's the end of the book. I thought there was another page, but it's not. It's just a loads of books all lined up. So that's the end of the story. So another book later on. But that one was Charlie Cook's favourite book. And for, for uh, both your daddies, Charlie Cook was also a, ch a player that played for Chelsea. There you go.